Hey, a very quick heads up to this five minute quickie. It's all about sharing, not sharing this, but sharing what you know and the difference it will make when you do. Have a listen. Warning, 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 warning. You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, hi you guys. It's Paul here from Personal Development Unplugged. And the question, I've got it's in the title actually. Do you share what you know? Because I know it can be difficult to share. Because, you know, we've all had an experience, I guess, of listening to somebody who has recently stopped smoking. And they constantly tell you the advantages of not smoking. Oh, how terrible it is to smoke. And they just don't stop, do they? Or anybody who's just changed something massively. You know, and it can be... Well, I think the difference is... And I think this is where I think our experiences can be different because I'm talking about sharing. And what I've just explained to you is more telling. You know, they're telling us it's an opinion and it's the only opinion. And that's why it can be grating. And I know I used to do this of a sort when I first started to learn this stuff, learn the old hypnosis and NLP, because of all the wonderful things that it, they do, it does, processes do, the things you're, that are available to us, the new things I was learning, and I wanted to shout it from the rooftops. I wanted to tell everybody, this really works, and that I, it, could do virtually anything. And sometimes there were some people who got interested, but there were some people who they just turned off because it was like, oh, here comes old Cluffy again. I'm sure he's going to talk about that stuff. And a couple of people had a quiet word and said, you know, you really have to just rein it in again, Paul, because not everybody is as excited as you are. And I was excited. I still am. But the thing is, I do believe that we need to share because there is so much good information on the uh, around. And when we're interested in it and we find that good stuff, it's like you are the filter. You found something that's good. You found a nugget, a gold nugget of information. And I think it's our duty to share. Because we've talked about, or I, we've, I bang on about this integrated field of learning, this sharing and keeping what we know and sharing it to others so they can share it with other people and then they can share it back to us in, in their own way. Some people call it the Akashic field. Some people call it the, the void of pure potentiality. Whatever you call it, I believe there's the information goes around, comes back again, and we learn even more. And one of the things about sharing is If you can explain something, maybe teach something, maybe answer questions on that thing that you're explaining, that's how you personally get to learn even more because you understand what you don't know. You suddenly, you get and go, well, what am I talking about now? I've got to go back. I know it was right, but I can't explain it. If I can't explain it, then I haven't got it quite right. So I think it's a great way of of making sure that learning goes well inside us by share, using that sharing technique, as it were. But I think it's how we frame, how we frame the way we share it. Okay, on this podcast, you know you're going to get my sharings because that's what it's about, and hopefully you enjoy those. But with a friend, how would we do that? How would you do that with a friend? If you've learned something on this podcast, you think, oh, that's brilliant. I've just tried it. It works. Because everything works, by the way. But how would you share it? Now, I know with my my sons, if we hear anything that's good, we get an email, a WhatsApp, or some type of messenger saying, hey, Dad, have a listen to this. Have a look at this. You might find it good. And some things I look at it and go, mm, not really for me, but thank you. It might come in useful, but maybe it wasn't at that time. But there'll be a nugget in there sometimes, and we know that. We know it's never, well, not always going to hit the mark, just like this podcast. 
I hope you're going to get gems out of this. You're going to get nuggets out of this. But there's going to be one or two that you're going to go, mm, that didn't really gel with me. And that's cool. Because it, another person, it will gel with. But over the longevity, you're going to get so much more. So much more. In ta- and in takeaways, you're going to be able to do so much more with your life. I just know that. That's why I'm doing it. Well, that's one of the reasons. And we're going to go over those one day, all the reasons. But maybe there's another way. And you might just want to, you know, I do it with my friends sometimes and they'll say something. And I go, do you know what? I heard something about that. I got some information. Do you want to, did you want me to share it with you? Can I, can I explain something? It would help me if I did, because see if I know it. And most of the time they'll go, well, yeah, of course, Paul. I raise the subject. You know, if people have, have got something wrong with them, they've got anxiety, they can't sleep or whatever. And I go, well, you know, there's stuff you can do about that. I do it, or can I explain sometimes? And you sometimes, if it's in the wrong uh, environment, they'll, and I'll go, maybe not not now, though. Give me a call, if it's of interest. Or we're just sitting around having a beer or a coffee, and the, the discussion comes around to a particular topic. Then I'll add that in. And I'm really happy to say, but, but don't worry. If this is too much, let's get onto another subject. But most people then know where you're coming from and they respect it because they know you're not going to tell them. You're just sharing some information. And because you're interested in it, you're going to, gonna, that's that word again, gonna. You're going to share it with that intention and interest. And you know because of, you know, you're reading signals. Because, you know, that's the other thing about these people who tell you all the time. And you're starting to get a little bit bored, maybe. Even they don't, they don't even see the yawns or the look in your eyes going glazed and blank. Or you, sometimes they don't even notice if you've fallen asleep. They'll carry on talking because they're not reading their signs. Their sensor, sensory acuity, i.e. looking before and after what's happening to you, they haven't got that sensory, sensory acuity to notice things aren't being taken in. You haven't got that rapport. You've lost that rapport. And if you notice that, I mean, sometimes I go, oh, I'm obviously keeping you up. Um, Let's change the subject. Let's go to something else. But I do think it's like a duty. If we learn something, share it with the people who we love, share it with the people who we feel could get a benefit of it. But don't tell. I mean, yeah, tell, but tell it in a way. (laughs) Share it. If you didn't tell them anything, you you know, be like silence. We don't want silence. But you know what I mean. Share in such a way that you just show your passion. And we've talked about passion before. So it's excitement, spirit, you know, oh, that real just buzz. Anyway, I just wanted to do that because I just want you to share. There's nothing to do about sharing this pod- podcast. I hope you do, but it's not about that. Maybe I'll say something at the end, you know, when that bing goes and you can listen to it then. But anyway, just have a think. How much do you share? And when you do, what difference would it make to that person or people that you share it with? It could be a lifesaver, literally, because you never know what is going on inside. People can put up a great facade. They look so confident. They look that. But inside... You know, everything is, maybe there's anxiety, fear. I know that because I see these people in my, you know, when I'm working one-to-one and they say, I come across totally confident. I know what I'm doing, but I don't, Paul. I feel fearful, anxiety. You know, I've, I've just seen it so many times, you know, to the point where I've got, I, uh, I worked with one person who was so confident or appeared to be, but in a social occasion, he would be sick before he went out because he was so anxious about it. No one would know. His friends wouldn't know. He used to duck, swerve these things. But in business, he was the most confident man. And that's how things work. So if you don't know what's going on, just sow the seeds. It'll make a difference. So 90 seconds. Now, we all know stress is not good for us. Well, too much stress is really bad. And, you know, it just builds up and builds up. What would it be like if you could really deeply relax? Really relax. Not just relax your muscles, but your mind 
everything about you just deeply relaxed through hypnosis. You see, what I've got is, well, I'll tell you what I haven't got. I haven't got a guided meditation that goes down to the riverbank and makes you feel relaxed for the moment. But what I have got are two tracks. One a longer track which guides your unconscious mind into deep relaxation to relax and be comfortable in the mind and the body, every muscle, every fiber of you, just deeply relaxing so you can learn at the unconscious level how to relax. And then a slightly shorter length hypnosis track to allow you to go into deep relaxation instantly and be there for just say five minutes. So in between meetings or whenever you just want to relax so quickly, so easily, you can just go there for five minutes. And then in between, you can use a longer track to have that longer experience, each time building up this skill of deep relaxation. How do you get it? Well, basically, you just go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash relax. There you go. Two programs. Go and have a look. Give you a little video about it as well. Have a little listen. What would happen if it didn't work? Well, if it didn't work, there's a money back guarantee. So you have got nothing to lose. But what would happen? And you got super sonically good at relaxing. Wouldn't that be awesome? Teach your body how to just relax and your mind to just relax. Just enjoy. Go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash relax and check it out. And it doesn't matter how big a difference, you'll never know how far the ripples of change will go. So throw that pebble into the pond and let the ripples just carry on going. Anyway, that's enough for this five minute quickie. Enjoy, have more fun than you can stand and enjoy every heartbeat. It's Paul, Paul Clough. Bye bye now. Just before you go, if you've just got a second or two, please have a listen. Why don't you share this? Share this podcast with just one person today and then one person tomorrow and one person after that. What would happen if we all did that? And why not subscribe? It's so easy to do. Find the platform of your choice. If it's iTunes or it's um, CastBox or any others, there's loads of them. Search for either Paul Clough or Personal Development Unplugged. And then there's a big subscribe button. Press that subscribe button and it'll be there. You get the podcast twice a week on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Never have to look any further. And if you would, why not put one of those reviews up? Because that would be awesome. Because that just moves it around this this integrated field of learning, as it were, and becomes and gets in front of other people. Which is what we want, isn't it? To be the change we want to see in others and help others change to be the change they want to see in themselves. There you go. I'm going to speak to you real soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun. Enjoy every heartbeat. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.